Hey guys, how you doing? What's going good? So basically today it's going to be an in-depth review of Vocaloid 5 and all the features that Vocaloid 5 has. And yes, before the video starts, this is a sponsored video by Vocaloid and I want to thank them for sponsoring this video. As you've seen my videos, I've used Vocaloid before. I've used version 4 in my Porter Robinson tutorial and I've also used Vocaloid 5, which is their new engine, which I'll be reviewing today in my um, how every feature-based track was made or some something, whatever that name was. I left a link in the description down below so you guys can definitely check it out i highly recommend it so let's just jump, jump into it. it one of vocaloid 5's new feature now is it not only is it a standalone it's also a vst so as you can see right here this is vocaloid and ableton i'm going to be using vocaloid and ableton whoa whoa what just happened <laughs> this is the editor as you can see right here you'll see the tempo the master the track basically the tempo is synced to your DOS tempo you can change the tempo and it'll automatically be synced as you can see right here so I'm going to go to the media folder and this folder is where you can select all your presets and your phrases so as you can see you have voice language type color and all the media name, which is all the phrases in Vocaloid. And basically, you can categorize it to narrow down the specific phrase and preset you want. You're given four Vocaloids, one you have Vocaloid 5, Amy, Chris, Kiora, and Ken. Amy and Chris are the English Vocaloids, and Kiora and Ken are the Japanese Vocaloids. Basically meaning, if you're using Amy or Chris, they'll be best suited for programming English words, while Kiora and Ken will be best suited for programming Japanese words. I'm going to choose Amy because I like Amy a lot. We can select the type we want. So as you can see, if we did, let's do um, rhythmic phrases and we can categorize it by color. So rhythmic phrases I'll choose and I'll do falsetto. And let's hear it. This phrase can definitely be used in more like an EDM style track. So basically, I'm just gonna go for more realistic examples. So soul phrases and something clean. I'm gonna just go with this. We'll just take this one and we'll drag it in here. And if you double click on it, you'll automatically be taken to, as you can see, the editor. As you can see, all the notes are right here. Sounds pretty good. It just has some little quirks. You can definitely edit more into it if you want. So basically what Vocaloid is known for is programming your own vocals in the engine. And also you can change the notes. So and if we want to change it to a different key, we can highlight all these and just move it up. And it'll automatically update itself. And let's hear it. You can change individual phrases, you can like shorten them if you want it, as you can see right here. And uh, you see all these tools and controls, basically this is the arrow tool, basically allows you to um, highlight notes, select them. Pen tool allows you to draw in the notes, you can draw in how long you want it or how short you want it. Cut is just, you could just cut it in half. And this is the, um, the beats per measure. We can make it longer or shorter as we want it. So if we wanted like 30 second triplets every measure, you get it and you can just program it to your liking. Let's just hear that. <laughs> You can program your own words. So obviously in this phrase, it's sad though, it's painful. We can change it to, I bought Ableton, yay. Let's just hear it. I bought Ableton, yay. Probably not the best phrase, but you see what I mean. So obviously if you want to do more tweaking, you see these control parameters, as you can see. Let's go focus on the attack and release effect. When you bring this up, each phrase, you can control the attack and the release of the effect. So obviously there's a bunch of effects you can put. There's down and up. So we'll put a down feature. As you can hear, there's the down feature. And what's awesome about it, if you press the Alt key, you can control the amount of the effect you want. You can drag more if you want it, if we hear it. Obviously that does not sound good and we can just remove all of it. 
which sounds more robotic in this case. If you don't want to press the Alt key, you can control it right here as well. Yeah, you can add a bunch of effects on the attack. The attack is the starting note of the note. And you can control the release, which is the end of the note when the singer says the phrase. So let's start on this phrase and let's put like a growl, which is a tone type of effect. Uh, you heard that growl effect and of course you can control it. So in the release effect, you can also add a vibrato. I'm going to elongate this phrase to showcase the vibrato effect. So we're going to press the vibrato normal. If you press the Alt key, you can control how long the vibrato comes in. And as you can see the style, you can add a lot of style to it or none. You can add how fast the vibrato happens or how slow you want it. But we're going to adjust to something I like. Yeah, sounding a bit better. Like I said, you can do a lot of tweaking to the phrase if you want to. And the breadth tool, which basically allows you to add the breadth. It's painful. If you want to do more customization, you can go to style, then press customize. And as you can see, here's the breadth tool, which is on, and you can control how much you want. And obviously you can see there's skill, which is if we turn this on, it's basically just, it basically changes sort of the tone and the style of her singing. So let's go for more like a rock sound if we select powerful. And let's just see how it sounds like. Obviously not that much here, but if we pull up the amount. It's very subtle in this case, but you can see it's more present. But if you want to do like more drastic changes, you can go to voice color. And in this effect, you can control how much effects you want. Like in the exciter, you can make your singing sound a lot brighter. So if we crank it up. Okay, that's a bit too much, but you get the idea. And if we lower it down, it'll sound a lot darker. Obviously the growl, it makes her voice sound a bit more growly. If we really crank it up. Obviously I wouldn't do that, but, but you get the idea. And breathy will make her sound, voice sound very breathy. And airy, it's a little bit similar to breathy, but I'd say more lighter. The mouth is basically when the vocaloid says their phrases, they have a certain diction. You can control the amounts you want. So obviously if we go to close the, the mouth, when the vocaloid says their phrases, it's the mouth isn't really opening that much. So you'll get that sort of effect. You can see it's trying to do it, but the phrase that we use, it's it's more suited for open mouth. And the character basically um, sort of affects the pitch. And not like the tuning of the pitch, but more like the character and the tone of the pitch. So obviously if you go more cute, it'll sound more kawaii. Actually, I take that back. It sounds like Alvin the Chipmunks. If we put it down, it'll sound a bit more deep. And the robot voice basically just puts everything aligned as you can see. It basically creates the sort of like an auto-tune effect and you have these audio effects. And what's cool about it, each style effect is independent from each other. So as you can see, your effects are here and you can see, which is the blank one, its own effects. Go to the mixer and as you can see, you can control the volume and you can add your own effects which will basically be in post. And also I forgot to mention, you can also add another vocaloid which you can create harmonies within each other. So you can add as many as you want. So there's a lot of things you can do in vocaloid. You can definitely get it to sound very realistic if you do more tweaking. So now you got like a good overview of how vocaloid 5 works. So I'm going to show you the versatility of vocaloid 5 and how you would use it in a production standpoint. So here's an example that I have. Now this is a loop that I found.
So obviously this is a funk style. So let's just show you like how Vocaloid works. I've already have Vocaloid 5 here. I also put an effect. I'm gonna turn off the effect in this case. So as you can see, I've already um, programmed the phrases and I add in a harmony as well. I'm gonna play just the vocals only. I'll let you hear what it sounds like. I will keep you smile in my memory, memory. I will keep you smile in my memory. How I did this, I went to this media folder and I found this phrase, I will keep your smile in my memory. If we look it up, it's right here. I will keep your smile in my memory. So that's the phrase that I used. I dragged it in here and all I did was change the notes and I actually copied this part and put it here and I did quite a bit of tweaking. Did the same thing here with the harmony. It's basically the same Vocaloid, but I just changed the notes to harmonize with the lead vocal. And as for effects, I didn't put any um, post effects. Most of these effects are within the bar. As you can see, I add a little bit of bright exciter. I maximized the singing skill, the soulful preset. It's very subtle. I added no breath or robot effect because I find it kind of necessary. I lowered the amount of character and increased a bit of growl. Uh, the EQ, compression, and reverb were already stock, but I added some chorus. I tried to add some distortion, but it was cutting through too much, so I just left it that. Now for the second one, I just added a chorus, but this chorus, I just made it wider. If we were to isolate it, you would hear it. Basically, I try to create like a backing vocal effect to make it cut through more. I added a third party plugin, CLA Vocal. So, as you can see, if we were to play it all together, That's it. I hope you find this tutorial helpful and hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you punch the subscribe button, hit the bell, all notifications, and I'll see you in the next video. Later, Gator. Uh -huh.